what are we working on at this moment? Uh, we're doing a three-way, four-way, three-way switch. So what I want it to do is every single one of these switches, if it's wired up right, should turn this light on or off. So if I flip this switch, it'll turn it on, and any other switch I flip will turn it off. It's supposed to work in every single way. The experience here has been a lot of fun. I have, I've learned a lot of things throughout my year and a half that I've been here so far. Um, made a lot of friends and it's definitely helped my career grow. My name is William Barlow. I am in the second year electrical class. Right now I work for Bullet Electric and I do all kinds of things, mostly just trim electrical, working towards going to commercial. So there is a, uh, there's two wires coming from three doorbells and there is a transformer right here that takes the 120 volts of this normal outlet and it dumbs it down to about 12 to 16 volts. We run the, the power coming from the transformer through the doorbell buttons, and that's what makes the doorbell chime. Well, I learned about the program through my school counselor when I was a junior in high school, and I started the program for my senior year. When I first started it, it was my brother that originally convinced me to do it. Said it'd be a lot of fun. He's currently an electrician, um, and he wants me to come work with him. And he, he said that that was the best way to do it. So originally, I was uh, I was just considering it, but once I actually got started into the program, then I can't imagine myself in a different trade. So the program itself, uh, if they're going for a residential journeyman license, it's going to take them two years to get to that point. If they're going to try and get their full electrical license, their full journeyman. It's going to take them four years of school. That's going to be broken up by semester, so every um, six months we'll have, you know, 30 nights of class that stretches about a four-month period, um, and so that's kind of how the class is broken up. Okay. Depending on the switch, this is a pass and a Seymour switch, so if you look at the back, you can't really see it here, there's an in and an out, okay? And on this one, I'll just tell you, it's top and back, okay? So one pair needs to go on the top, one pair needs to go on the bottom. So we're just going to call this pair our in, okay? Um, the instructors are great. All the ones I've had, they're very interactive with the class and they have no issue helping me with any questions that I might have and um, they always do their best to make sure I understand all the material. So we spend probably about 30% of the time in the lab um, prepping them for that state test. But we've got probably five, six, seven different boards that they get to learn on and we've got all these things that we're trying to add in. Um, that way it's not just getting them ready for the test but it's getting ready to be in the field as well. So this is a motor board we got basically these wires they're going to conduct the electricity for us uh, we plug them into these little uh, into these holes right here on this on this bus bar um, and all the wires coming from the equipment is just plugged into the other side of the bar. I'm gonna have power coming in from the transformer I'm gonna run it to this switch right here. It's great because I can uh, I can go work my full work day and I can get home, get ready, everything, and I still have plenty of time to come to class and I can work towards bigger projects right after schooling ends. It's a growing job market um, and it's a, it's a good place to be. There's a lot of both residential and commercial work here in town. So annual, um, a journeyman, you know, it depends on obviously the job they're with, but um, you know, they could probably make around $75,000 a year. St. George has plenty of work. Um, you know, you will find a few jobs that they will want you to travel, usually within the state of Utah. Um, most of the time you're home on the weekends if you are traveling, but the majority of our students, probably I'd say 95% of them are staying in St. George, finding work locally. I'm basically hooking this up backwards to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, there we go. So I did do it right, and now I can add in the light. So now, when I press start, both of these turn on. The light will turn on and the coil will activate. Awesome. Five years in the future, I want to already have my journeyman long gone. I want to have that with me. And I want to be working towards my master's or I want to already have it. And for my master's, I want to get that in the next 10 years and I want to start my own electrical company and hopefully get that up and running. So pump is this last one. Yep, so you'll take a lead from here over to the pump. So from here, I go to the pump. Yep. So now when you do the high cool, it's gonna turn both of these on. So what we want is to go to the other way, go to low band, cause that's gonna be the low setting on the motor. Mm -hmm. so. I would recommend Dixie Technical College because of how um, how easy it is, how like convenient it is for somebody with a heavy work schedule or someone who's just trying to get a quick education. It's really easy and I love how cheap the tuition is. 
um, and you still get a pretty solid education. It's been the best thing for me. And I would say uh, if you have the chance, then take it. Only the pump turns on with thump only. On high cool, both are on. Low cool, all, both are also on. High vent, low vent, and we're good. There we go. Um, sweet.